Hello and welcome to Hobby Electronics and I'm Nick and on this episode I'll be showing you how to make a simple hexapod robot. So let's get to it. For this project we'll be needing two sets of legs. I've already attached the feet to these legs. One center leg. Three servo horns. Three micro servo motors. Three servo horn screws. Two 25mm PCB standoffs along with four appropriate screws. One top mounting plate along with one bottom mounting plate. 5 20mm by 20mm spacers, some male to male jumper wires, and a microcontroller, along with a breadboard to prototype. I used a laser cutter to cut out all of these acrylic pieces. If you don't have a laser cutter, you can still cut these pieces out by hand using the provided template. The template and file for the laser cutter can be found on the project page on the Mr. Hobbytronics website. I'm going to begin by attaching the servo horns to the servos. I'm then going to keep them in place by using the servo horn screws. Then using some hot glue I'm going to secure two of the servos to the hexapod base plate. Followed by gluing one of the sets of the legs to each of the servos in the following configuration. We can then glue the middle set of legs to the remaining servo. We can then fasten in place the two PCB standoffs to the top and bottom mounting plates. Feeding the servo wires through the hole like so. Once the two mounting plates are joined together, we can then glue the spaces together using some more hot glue followed by gluing the spacer block to the bottom of the middle servo. Followed by gluing the bottom of the spacer block to the top mounting plate. I then inserted the microcontroller into the breadboard, followed by connecting each of the servos to 5 volts and ground. Then connect the signal wire from the middle servo to digital pin 9, then the left servo signal wire to digital pin 8, and the right to digital pin 10. Then after uploading the provided code to the microcontroller, we can then give the hexapod a test. As an extension to this project, you can make the hexapod autonomous by using an ultrasonic distance sensor. 